This is Caesar, an Anatolian sheepdog. His ancestors were bred in Turkey to guard sheep and fight wolves. But this intrepid dog is in Namibia, an arid land far from his native home. Here, Caesar faces not wolves, but cheetahs. And he's not supposed to fight them, but to help them. It's estimated there are fewer than 3,000 cheetahs left in the country. And these survivors are under threat from farmers who may kill them for stalking their livestock. I came here first in 1977. At that point in time, I found out that there was a great deal of conflict between the farmers and the cheetahs. And doing cheetah research at that period of time, I realized that if we did have a hope for the cheetah to survive in the wild, Namibia was the best chance. It has land, it has wild game, and I believe that there's opportunities that farmers and cheetahs can live together for the future. Naturalist Lori Marker is co-founder of the Cheetah Conservation Fund. The organization provides farmers with dogs that protect flocks without hurting cheetahs. Anatolians are perfect for the assignment. After two years of research, the uh, livestock guarding dog that was best suited for the farmer's needs as well as the area that they have to work in was the Anatolian. The dog is a very independent thinking dog, which is, was another characteristic that why it was chosen. It has 6,000 years of instincts. It will do exactly what has to be done. Like other dogs in the program, Caesar was placed with the herd as a puppy and was raised with the livestock without much human contact. He stays with his herd 24 seven. At first, it was difficult to convince rural farmers that owning and feeding a dog could be beneficial. But more than 250 dogs have gone to work since the program began, and cheetah mortality is dropping. Now many farmers have stopped using poison baits because of the dogs. The dogs and training are free, as is vet care. The people actually do see the benefit of the dog, and uh, they are now taking care of the dog very well. And because they see the benefit that if they take care of the dog properly, the dog is going to do their job properly. The dog project's been very, very successful. Over 90% of the farmers are extremely pleased. We've reduced livestock loss so that the farmers that do have the dogs do not have livestock loss, not only to the cheetah, but to other predators. Mori also runs a refuge for injured or orphan cheetahs. The goal is to return them to the wild, but some are not able to survive on their own. Instead, they become part of an education program to promote cheetah conservation. Through our education programs, through our farm management programs, all of these are ways that we can help the cheetah, where people, if they learn more about the, the cheetah and its needs, and ways that people and the cheetah can live together, that there's a chance that this species can survive on Earth. Turkish dogs, and African cheetahs, two animals worlds apart, brought together for the sake of peaceful coexistence. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.